Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about succession. Succession is when there's a change to a plant community, usually a plant community, over time after a disturbance event. There are two types of succession, primary succession and secondary succession. Primary succession occurs after an event that doesn't leave any soil or any seeds. Primary succession starts with bare rock. It can be caused by things like volcanic eruptions or glaciers retreating. Okay, in primary succession, usually the first organisms to come there are mosses, like this right here, and lichen. Lichen can grow on rocks and it can grow on trees. Usually around here we mostly see it on trees. Lichen is actually not the name of one single species, but it's actually the name of a relationship between a photosynthetic partner and a fungus. The photosynthetic partner is usually green algae or it can also be cyanobacteria. This right here, guys, is a type of lichen that we refer to as folios because it has a leafy-like structure. This is another type of lichen, a crustos lichen. It's growing here on rock and clay on the outside of a cutaway, really, for the road that we're on. This crustose lichen that's growing here on this rock will eventually develop soil so other plants can grow. Eventually, smaller grasses and ferns might grow here, making way then to larger plants and trees that could grow. This is the sweet bike I'm riding while I do this video. Secondary succession starts with grasses after a disturbance event removes the plant community that was there beforehand. The grasses um, lead then to a change in the community. Today I'm on Groover Road to show you an example of secondary succession. In this area it used to be a plot for cows to graze. But since that time, cows haven't been here for years and succession has occurred. The plant communities here have changed. You can actually see the change in plant communities as you kind of follow from left to right here. Over here there are grasses. Grasses, guys, grow. You know, once the cows are gone, they're getting taller. And as you move over here, actually, there's some small trees and brushes. And then this area over here is where grazing hasn't occurred for a long time and we're seeing larger trees. Usually pine trees are the first ones to come as they can grow in pretty harsh conditions. And then later, slower growing shade trees will grow up underneath them. And will eventually take over and this will become a full deciduous forest. Succession not only means that the plants in the community are changing, but actually the abiotic factors are also changing. As larger trees grow, that limits the amount of sunlight. It also leaves behind more nitrogen, really, for other plants to grow. Ones that require more nitrogen, more phosphorus um, in the soil can grow up later and outcompete organisms that were able to survive with less nutrient-rich soil. Mowing and plowing can lead to secondary succession. Secondary succession takes a lot less time than primary succession and eventually leads to climax communities like the one behind me. In a climax community, there are large plants and relatively stable communities of organisms living there. There can be times where it actually changes a bit if one of the trees falls it can lead to small amounts of succession in that area. Besides in terrestrial environments, aquatic ecosystems can also go through succession. In an aquatic ecosystem, if there's lots of nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus in the water, it can cause algae blooms and it can cause plants to grow really well. Eventually, it'll fill with sediment. That filling of sediment then can lead to the pond being actually filled over and becoming a meadow like this. Streams like this one can take runoff from communities nearby 
and actually can bring it down to ponds and lakes and can bring along with it the fertilizer that people use on their lawns. That fertilizer can lead to a eutrophic environment in the lakes. The eutrophic environment then can lead to more growth of algae and plants that eventually cause that lake to become the meadow that we saw earlier. This is a swampy area that's undergone eutrophication. Lots of nutrient-rich water has ended up here and starting to fill up. You can see there are already some plants, some small trees actually growing from the edges. And actually when it's full and there's been a lot of rain, you can see that they're slightly submerged in water. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you're staying happy and healthy. Live and learn, guys. I'll see you later. This is a swampy area, actually, that has undergone eutrophication. Uh, I can't say that. This is a swampy area, actually, that's undergone eutrophication. You <laughs> Secondary succession takes a lot longer than primary succession. Oh, that's wrong. What am I doing?